When we first met Fred Downs four years ago, he was in charge of prosthetics for the Veterans Health Administration. He lost his arm while serving in Vietnam. We asked him to take off the hook that he had been wearing for 40 years and try out the DECA arm, a state-of-the-art robotic arm created by inventor Dean Kamen. Because I've seen lots of inventions come along in my years of being in charge of prosthetics and uh, so uh, some great stuff but in the long run it doesn't really work because your body only has so much tolerance for gadgetry. After practicing for 10 hours, Down showed us what he could do. Now I use my toes to grasp this. Feeling is hard to describe. For the first time in 40 years, my, my left hand did this. <laughs> I almost choke up saying it now. It was just, um, it was such an amazing feeling. I was 23 years old the last time I did that. It felt so good to move my arm again, to do things with it. Not as fast, not as this, that, but it worked. You just said move my arm yeah. again. Did it feel like your arm? It did, it did. It felt like my arm. It was me. That was four years ago. Today, the DECA arm is sleeker, lighter, and easier to control. We asked Fred Downs to show it to us. Now, when we talked to you four years ago, this was the arm. This was state of the art. We, we were pretty impressed with this. Yes, I was too. Very much so. But now look at this. This is called the Generation 3, the Gen 3 arm. That's correct. How's it different? Well, as you can see, it's much more streamlined. If you'll compare, you'll look at the two of them. You know, to wear this, compared to this, it's, well, it's, it's obvious how m more streamlined it is. The wires are now internal. Uh, this big old box here, this computer, is now internal. Wait, this, this you used to wear on your belt. Yes. This my, was the computer that, that drove the thing. Now all of this is inside the arm itself. Yes. And here's another improvement. Over here, these are what I used to wear on my feet. These are the accelerometers. And so uh, big clumsy things on my ankles, and that's all been reduced to this. Th this was the control mechanism. Yes. You use your feet to control the arm. You use your toes and your feet and the way you shift around on your feet to move the arm in different directions. This is what you were wearing on your ankles before, and now it's that. That's right. And I have a little strap across the top of my boot, and I just slide it on there. In just four years. Well, show me some of the things you can do. All right, I'm going to try and catch the ball. Uh-huh. You oh. started this yesterday, you said? Yesterday is the first time I did this. Uh-huh. Because of the dexterity of the hand, which is so much greater than this, I wanted to try and see what I could do. And, you know, it, it's... Um, it may seem tedious to you, but it's a lot of fun for me. <laughs> so... Oops. You haven't caught anything in your left hand in 44 years. Right. It's... It's, it's, the, it's the thrill of the catch. There ah. it is. Look at that. And now, so, you, that is such a wonderful feeling. You cannot imagine what that's like to catch that ball with my left hand. 